Hey my beautiful friends, welcome back to my channel. I always wanted to do some experiment with cement crafts and uh, finally I get a chance to do it and I'm so thankful to Panda Hall Selected for collaborating with me. They sent me these amazing molds and craft kit which is amazing for any kind of material like resin, jasmonite, cement craft. And for now, I'm going to try these for cement dishes. Okay, so this kit included Ole Craft dish silicon molds, sequin, transparent plastic round steering rods, disposable latex finger coats, and disposable plastic transfer peppers. Other than the wide variety of uh, craft stuff, Panda Hall Selected, which is one of the online retail supermarket of handmade jewelry material created by Panda Hall. And there are all the materials that you need for beading and jewelry making. Lots and lots of variety, thousands and thousands of beads, pendants, rings, acrylic European beads, resin scarves, earring hooks, stainless steel pendants. Everything is available on one platform on very cheap rates and very amazing quality. And the good news is that I got 5% off coupon on all their products on their website. So check the links in the description and enjoy. Okay, so our first DIY is antique concrete bowl. For this, we need cement and I am mixing 3-1 ratio of cement and water. Okay, so we need to mix it very, very well. I am slowly adding water and cement, so it's easy to work with. Next, we need two bowls, one for the base and second for the top. And I have this um, shape of bowl that I wanted to create. So I am covering the side holes with a scotch tape and coating it with some oil. Next we are going to add the cement mix in it. Okay, and making sure that all the air bubbles are gone. Next I am adding another ball on the top and adding some weight. And we'll let it dry at least for 12 hours. Okay, so it's dried up and now I am uh, carefully taking it out from the bowl. And here is the shape. I am using a sand scrubber to sand this bowl. Now we are going to paint it by using black spray paint. Let it dry completely and next we need some dirt to coat on the top of the black paint. So it's gonna take out all the shine from the paint and I am mixing some water and applying the second coat. Okay, let it dry again and then we will rub it again with a sand sponge to give it a kind of antique look. Okay, so all the extra dirt is gone and here is the final look. And this is looking really classy plus trendy and very high-end home decor. Next DIY is some jewelry dishes that I am making by using Panda Hall Selected Silicone Mold Kit. Simply I am pouring the cement mix into the dish. Okay. 
and try my best that there are no air bubbles left. And again, we let it dry. Meanwhile, I am going to experiment with these sequins. So I am adding it into the small silicone mold. These work best with lighter shade of material like jasmineite, resin or even white cement. But I just wanted to try it with the normal cement. Uh, I don't know how pigmented it would be with the gray color of cement. But let's see how it works. Okay, so after almost like 18 hours, I'm taking these out from the molds. And if you are using a rapid set cement, you don't need to wait this much. Next, I am going to sand it by using the sponge. So our design showed up. Here we need a lot of work. Uh, okay, here is what we got. So I decided to change the design and I'm just painting it with the white spray paint on the top. Let it dry and then next we are going to wrap half of the dishes with the help of a paper and tape. And next we are going to paint it with black spray paint. Okay, these are fully dried up and now I'm going to remove the paper and this combination is divine. I really, really love black and white combo. So I just, it's really amazing and especially the golden color jewelry look amazing on it. I made another dish and um, what I learned from experimenting with cement that don't add too much of the cement in the molds otherwise it will, it will be pushing too much pressure on the molds and the design on the top would be you know unbalanced. So I covered it up by using a, a stone look spray paint and see how perfect this one is looking now. Next, I tried making another pottery looking bowl. For the cement bowl, I followed the same step as we did in our first DIY. And next, I am using this wood looking paint. Okay, before coating the second color paint, we'll let it dry fully. And after that, I'm gonna paint it with the white. So uh, the wood color is on the base and the white on the top. And then we'll let it dry. As it is fully dried up, now I am slowly sanding the white paint so we can get some of the brown or the wood color out of the white. It's kind of look wood antique ball, I would say. Here how it looks like after the rubbing. Here I am again using some of the white paint for the perfect color combo. Let it dry and our ball is ready. And I'm so in love with this vintage um, pottery bowl design. And, and this trend is everywhere. And it gives such an expensive, trendy and amazing look. I definitely gonna try some more. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and follow me on Instagram. I'll see you very soon in the next video. Thank you. Bye-bye.